ดีค่ะ This is Thailand at large, and today I bring you to travel together to find value in art, cultural, and way of life, as well as exciting experience in Thailand. And today I bring you back to your childhood that almost everybody has to be here to this place. It's um right next to BTS e k a m a i So let's know more details about this science center for education. The Bangkok Planetarium of the Science Center for Education provides knowledge with an approach that places the learner as the highest priority. It operates under the theme of education that provides entertainment while creating knowledge. The highlights of the project include a planetarium and science exhibitions focused on dinosaurs. The environment, nature, and geography. The Bangkok Planetarium also has a zone that showcases marine life. All educational activities disseminated in the form of exhibitions and lectures are meant to encourage youths and visitors to develop a thirst for knowledge and experiments, which lead to systematic and logical thinking. And right now we're standing with Kun Tatiya j a i b u n the director of Science Center for Education. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ So firstly, we would love to know more about the story background of this place. Our Science Center for Education, uh, we are under Office Non-Formal and Informal Education Ministry of Education. History of us uh, start at uh, 1964. Uh, we start with Bangkok. Planetarium, first uh, planetarium in Thailand and biggest in Thailand and in Southeast Asia too. The second building uh, come at 1985, the Sai uh, Museum building. Not only two building, Bangkok Planetarium and Science Museum. We also have uh, the building three, building four, building five, and building six. Uh, uh, building three. Uh, come uh, along with uh, science museum about uh, aquatic life or mini aquarium, and the building four is uh, about natural science. <laughs> building five and building six is a sports center or recreation center for the public. But we also have the program for student too in building five and building six. And uh, again, how many branches are there? Are there a lot of branches of the science center? Science Center under Office of Non-Formal and Informal Education with uh, 19 uh, around oh, Thailand. 19. 19. Uh -huh. uh, three of them uh, uh, already have a fixed planetarium, but most of them have a portable planetarium. So there are actually many interesting stories here. So uh -huh. how many people are visiting this place per day around? Uh, about four uh, thousand. About four thousand. That's 000. a lot. <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, eventually, uh, I would love you to actually invite people, both Thai and foreigners visitors, to come oh. visit this place. Uh, uh, Science Center for Education. I like to welcome <laughs> all of you to visit us. Uh, we uh, we not only the. Exhibition by Planetarium. We also have uh, uh, educational activities. More uh, the summer camp. Uh -huh. Summer camp. Uh, we have nine summer camp uh, coming soon. Uh, and laboratory activities. Uh, uh, you can you can come by uh, individual or at group group. Uh -huh. To participate in this. Uh -huh. So thank you very much for the information today. Uh -huh. Thank you. And before getting in the science museum, we shall buy the ticket. Let's go. Ta da! Here we go. I got the ticket. And now we're at the building two in science museum. And this one is the ticket for uh, looking inside. And let's know more details about it. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะก่อนอื่นขอแนะนำตัวกับค่ะวิชุดานาธนาวังค่ะนักวิชาการศึกษาปฏิบัติหน้าที่เจ้าหน้าที่ประชาสัมพันธ์ค่ะแล้วโซนนี้ค่ะหลักๆมีอะไรน่าสนใจบ้างคะ
ก็หลักๆของอาคารพิพิธภัณฑ์วิทยาศาสตร์นะคะก็จะมีทั้งหมดสี่ชั้นด้วยกันหลังจากที่เรามีบัตรแล้วนะคะเราก็สามารถเข้าชมนิทรรศการได้โดยที่ชั้นหนึ่งจะเป็นเรื่องราวเกี่ยวกับวิทยาศาสตร์เทคโนโลยีมีเครื่องเล่นเช่นกิมโบนิทรรศการใหม่เราอยู่ที่ชั้นหนึ่งทั้งหมดนะคะมี2นิทรรศการด้วยกันค่ะนิทรรศการพลังวิทย์พิชิตยาเสพติดและนิทรรศการสํารวจจักรวาลค่ะในส่วนของชั้นที่2ค่ะชั้นที่2ก็จะมีอีก2นิทรรศการที่ชื่อว่าคณิตศาสตร์แสนสนุกแล้วก็ห้อง DIY สําหรับชั้นที่3ค่ะเป็นห้องปฏิบัติการหุ่นยนต์น้องๆที่สนใจเรื่องของหุ่นยนต์โดยเฉพาะเนี่ยสามารถเข้ามาทดลองเล่นนะคะทดลองต่อวงจรได้ที่ห้องนี้เลยค่ะ Okay so within the science museum they have four levels of science exhibitions such as anti um, drugs and also um, a lot about planet and exploring the planet inside um, what else is there และไฮไลท์หลักๆที่แบบถ้ามาแล้วต้องเข้าไปดูเลยมาแล้วต้องเข้ามาดูมาแล้วต้องเล่นก็คือตัวจิมบอลนะคะเป็นการสัมผัสอวกาศเป็นการจำลองสภาวะไร้น้ำหนักนะคะแล้วก็ในช่วงนี้ตั้งแต่ช่วงปลายปีที่แล้วนะคะเรามีนิทรรศการศูนย์วิทยาศาสตร์เพื่อการศึกษาเราลึกในมหาพระมหากรุณาธิคุณค่ะเป็นนิทรรศการที่เราบอกเล่าเรื่องราวของพระมหากรุณาธิคุณของพระบาทสมเด็จพระปรมินทรมหาภูมิพลอดุลยเดชที่มีต่อศูนย์วิทยาศาสตร์เพื่อการศึกษาพระองค์ท่านเสด็จที่แห่งนี้นะคะในการเปิดท้องฟ้าจำลองกรุงเทพในการเปิดพิพิธภัณฑ์วิทยาศาสตร์และพระองค์ท่านยังเสด็จพร้อมกับพระเจ้าอยู่หัวรัชกาลที่10ด้วยหนึ่งครั้งนะคะ And also this place is a place where we have the exhibition for our King, His Majesty the King Rama IX and Rama X. Also His Majesty the King Rama IX, we also have like exhibition showing all his good deeds that he did for this place. And also he had visiting this place with his uh, uh, His Majesty the King Rama X right now. And also this is actually a really interesting place. So we shall look inside and know more details about it. Thank you. His Majesty the King Pumipon Adulayade and Her Majesty the Queen Sirikit officially opened the Bangkok Planetarium on August 18, 1964. The facilities first opened to the public the following day on August 19, 1964. The two main parts of the Bangkok Planetarium are the Star Projector Room and its surrounding exhibition. For over 50 years, the Bangkok Planetarium is one of the most famous and popular field trip destinations for youth. The facilities also inspired countless of youth to become scientists. The signature dome-shaped star projector of the Bangkok Planetarium provides an exciting experience for all visitors. Let's explore the planetarium together to see how it was enhanced over the years. These two buildings collect a vast array of scientific knowledge portrayed as exhibitions that focus on research and a scientific approach to analysis. And in the Science Museum building is also a new exhibition, which is an exhibition about His Majesty the King Pumipon Adulayade for what he had done for us in the past. Another building is going to be more interesting. Let's go. And this one is the highlight. 
highlight of this place, which is the planetarium. Inside, they're showing all this special projector room in that dome showing about astronomy and space technology. The signature dome-shaped star projector of the Bangkok Planetarium provides an exciting experience for all visitors. Let's explore the planetarium together to see how it was enhanced over the years. These two buildings collect a vast array of scientific knowledge portrayed as exhibitions that focus on research and a scientific approach to analyze it. So people who come here to um, learn, they are going to learn astronomy. They are going to be able to recognize stars, uh, constellations and planets and they are going to watch some photo movies as well. The highlight of the Bangkok Planetarium is the exceptional stargazing experience. Understanding its significance, the Bangkok Planetarium replaced the star projector and all equipment with advanced models to provide a modern and tech-savvy experience. This major renovation replaced the analog star projector with a digital 4K system characterized by high resolution. The star projector was produced by the brand Christie from the United States. Its lenses were designed to protect a 360-degree image in the dome without casting a shadow. It provides brightness and high resolution that vividly simulates a trip through space. The star projector room was also decorated to simulate the aurora, borealis, the light, color and sound systems were also enhanced to meet international standards. The seating were also replaced with new sets with vibrant colors similar to seats in theaters. These renovations provide an even more impressive experience for visitors. How oh, you can experience these wonders for yourself. Travel 12 billion years back in time and witness the before. Robot Explorers. We invite you to explore the secret. This is their story. Bangkok Planetarium shows its newest movie of the Marvels of the Aurora Borealis. With its digital star projector, casting footages that cover the entire dome. Each show lasts for 15 minutes and can support an audience of 280 people. Feel the impact of the explosive 
and speed up and catch the trends. Form their stars for the age and die. Um, so the first part of the show will be uh, about astronomy teaching and the second part of the show will be about full go movies. So if you are free to come, so you just uh, come. So we have uh, about five to six uh, star shows uh, every day from uh, Tuesday to Sunday. Aquatic Life, which is the building showing the underwater world with many rare fishes including saltwater fishes and freshwater fishes. This is really interesting. Building 3 is the underwater world which presents exhibitions on the wonders and interrelationships of exotic marine animals and plants. The underwater world seeks to cultivate values of passions, understanding, and preservation of nature. Fish species from both freshwater and saltwater Habitats are raised in aquariums on both sides of the hallway, providing visitors with the opportunity to experience their natural beauty. This building presents information on nature and the environment. Each floor portrays different stories of this theme. The second floor is the dinosaur exhibition. presents information on Thai dinosaurs, and the evolution of organisms in each period of time. Visitors will learn unique adaptations of different species while becoming knowledgeable of tools used by explorers. Planet Treasure is an exhibition that demonstrates experiments and activities that provide practical knowledge for improving quality of life. The exhibition focuses on the diversity of plant species that serve as an essential player in maintaining an all life on Earth. Plants serve as food, habitat, utensils, garments, medicine, and many other beneficial applications. 
They serve as raw materials for generating energy and naturally make the environment healthy for living. Therefore, it is imperative to fully optimize the benefits provided by plants while sustainably preserving their species. The exhibition and hands-on activities of this zone effectively disseminates knowledge. Visitors also have the opportunity to observe plant life through microscopic lenses. The next floor is the world of insects, which provides information on these organisms which are the most abundant on Earth in terms of both population and number of species. The exhibition explains the evolution, structure, and interesting facts of insects. Including their interrelationships with humans as a food source and plant population controllers. The Children's World Exhibition is a zone that allows children to participate in fun scientific activities that effectively develop their skills. The Mysterious Life Exhibition presents information on the five senses and their significance towards the human life and anatomy. The knowledge is disseminated through games and many new devices. So this is the mystery room. Let's go inside and find some adventure. It's gonna be dark and we can feel something. Let's see. Scared. Oh, I have company right here. So cute. That was really scary though because it was dark and you can touch like some hairs and some stuff. It's really scary. Come and experience this entertaining and knowledgeable exhibition for yourself. The Natural Heritage Exhibition provides knowledge on subjects of nature related to humans, including geology and biology. The exhibition focuses on biodiversity, adaptation, and tectonic plate movement. Uh, so they're like turtles and also like uh, shells. So you can actually touch it, put your hand inside like this. As you can see inside, it's like shell. How is it with the Science Center for Education and the Planetarium? Right here, we have so much fun and a lot of knowledge back home. So if you're interested to come visit, don't forget to come every Tuesday to Sunday from 9 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. But it closes every Monday. And that's it for today with Thailand at large and me, Moon Kien Hager. We have to say goodbye. Sadiqa. So